Well, everyone, Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network, and I want to talk a little bit about one of the great productivity apps out there called Notability. It can be used for teachers and for students, I think. Um, a great tool for taking notes and also a great tool for um, working with PDFs. Okay, so let me just uh, let me just open this up here quick. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Notability. Um, there's a lot of note-taking applications available out there. There's tons of them, actually. Um, Evernote's a big one. Um, so I'm not going to go through all the details here of how Notability might be used, but let me just demonstrate first how it uh, how it can take notes. So um, the default here is that it wants you to take notes by writing. So I've got a little stylus here, so I could be um, taking my notes and you know, making notes here on whatever meeting I was in, number one, number two, number three, and then, of course, okay, so just like we'd expect, okay, so we can, it can do notes that way, so let me just, uh, um, whoops, didn't mean to edit the, edit the date there, um, so I'm going to go back, now I'm going to create a new note, um, and of course you can just type your notes in, okay, so I could just type, um, you know these notes as well if you would rather do it that way um, okay so that works great and then of course I can switch there along the top maybe I need to draw a diagram that's part of the meeting or part of the class so of course a combination here alright so I'm gonna go back to the front now one of the other note taking things about Notability that is different than a lot of the others is its ability to record audio. You can see up there in the upper right corner. Actually, you know, its ability to record audio is not that much different than a lot of the others, but how it does it is and, and sort of the benefit of it. So let me just show you, for instance. So I click the recorder. Okay, so now it's picking up. Um, the microphone's turned on. So I could be writing notes here, okay, for each one of these things. Okay, maybe I'm going to type a little bit. So I switch to typing here. Now it's time to type. And I'm taking notes. And, you know, if we're taking notes in a class or in a meeting, of course, it's pretty hard to write down every single word. So it's pretty common that we, um, that we just write down key words or phrases. And then hopefully we're hoping that when we go back and look at our notes later, or if it's a part of a class, when we go back and to study those notes later, um, those key words will remind us of what was happening in the meeting. But if you're like me, that doesn't always happen. Um, so let me just stop this. So here's what Notability has done. Um, when, I, when I go to play this back, you'll see that I have these little red lines over there. So if I tap it jumps the playhead. So I don't know if you notice, the playhead had jumped up here. So I'm going to tap on this keyword number four, and it'll jump the playhead ahead to number four. Okay. Or if I think, oh, what did I? What was going on at number one there? So if I tap back there, it jumps the playhead back um, to that spot in the recording when I wrote that down. Okay. So. That's kind of a different uh, way that it that it's working. It works when I type. I use the type tool. Um, plays that back, so I can just pause that. Now that um, that recording that was created um, is part of this file now. So this note that I've created. So you can see that it it's you know I'm back here where all my notes are uh, all my notes are kept. And you can see the ones with the red dots are ones that I have um, re done recordings on. <clears throat> okay, so with just that, Notability is a tool just for that, and it has a bunch of other features as well. Um, but uh, there's another thing that Notability does that might make it interesting for classroom use. So let's say, for an example, you have a handout you want students um, to work on, not the puppies. Um, let me just bring up, maybe you have a graphic organizer, and you've put it on a website, you've given them a link to it, maybe you put it in your Dropbox, and you've, you're, you've sent them a link to your Dropbox, they click on the link, and it comes up in their browser, it comes up in Safari like this, okay, so here's this handout, but here in the browser, I can't do anything to it, can't write on it, can't type in it, so if I want students to work on this, I need to get it out of the browser and into a tool on my iPad, into an app that allows me to mark it up, allows me to write on top of it. 
So if I tap on it, I get these buttons up in the upper um, upper right hand corner. And when I tap on that open in, it does a quick survey of everything on my com on my iPad, all the all the apps that could possibly open this up. And you can see Notability is one of them. So I'm going to tap on Notability. So it's going to pull this PDF over into Notability, and it wants to create a new note to hold it, and gives me a couple options there. Okay, so now I'm inside of Notability. <clears throat> so if I if I um. So just imagine on top of this PDF is a is a clear um, you know piece of plastic like the old overhead projectors that I could write on and it sits on top. So that's what I'm writing on this top this top piece. So if I use two fingers, I can zoom in, and a student could be filling this out. Okay, it does not work as well to type onto it. You can type onto here, but again, it's like a document, so it's hard to get the typing to show up in the right place. So maybe you're, you know, doing a, a KWL for uh, minerals, and so you're having your students fill this out, or maybe you're in faculty meeting, and you're having faculty members fill this out. Um, and if I need to write, you know, smaller, I can zoom in, so I can really um, start writing smaller in here. And then when I zoom back out, see the writing is uh, smaller. Now, uh, when it comes time, I might need, I might want my students to turn this in. Okay, so automatically this document, this PDF, and anything I've written on it gets saved um, into my into Notability. But if I want my students to turn this in, I could have them email it to me. And if I have an email set up for them to mail to, so I just click the share button up there or the options button, and it shows me every every place where I could put this. So um, Probably if I'm having to turn it in, I want them to email it to me, and I want them to email it as a PDF. Okay, and that's the format I want. And I'm going to say email the notes, and it'll pop open, and I can put in the email address where I want this to go. So if you had um, a teacher account that you had um, these a uh, place to turn these in, so I click send, and now I've I have a a copy of this document from this student. So, um, of course, there's some other things to probably pay attention to. Is you probably need when they, if you were having them turn it in um, uh, via email, make sure that in their maybe in the subject line, you've got to get give them some way to identify it. Okay, to identify their um, their document. Okay, so with that, guys, that's um, a couple of things that Notability can do. Thanks for watching.